Happy Monday, ESM. I'm Elena. Last Tuesday, the United States Surgeon General, Dr. Vivek H. Murthy, issued a youth mental health crisis. More about this after news. Today, rescues continue to search for survivors after the deadly tornadoes tore through Kentucky and neighboring states over the weekend, demolishing entire towns and leaving dozens dead. The unseasonal storm tore through several states across the Midwest and South on Friday, wiping out the candle factory, the entire communities in Kentucky, a nursing home in Arkansas, and having Amazon distributing centers in Illinois. The latest death toll at nearly 50 early this morning, President Biden approved a disaster declaration for Kentucky yesterday, proving a federal aid to those in at least eight countries after the storm wrecked homes and left thousands without power. On Saturday, more than two dozen Camillus firefighters and policemen responded to a call about a house setting fire. Multiple civilians dialed 911 to report the fire on 6148 DeVoe Road at 153. There were also a flood report stating that there was heavy black smoke surrounding the building. The police did not report that everyone made it out safe. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bring a friend. The meeting is a pre-vacation stress reliever, and all is welcome. Are you struggling with your math homework? Math homework help is available in the library makerspace area the following days and blocks. On odd days, we are there blocks one and four, and on even days, blocks one and three. Come down if you have a study hall and make sure you sign into study hall first, and then your study hall teacher can give you a green math, math help pass. We are here to help. <clears throat> this week, the Key Club is selling candy canes to be delivered around the school the days before holiday break. Candy canes will be sold before school and during lunch periods. They are $1 each or two for $1.50. Buyers must know part of the recipient's schedule so the Key Club can drop them off. Make sure to get your candy canes to help support the Key Club. All right, so back on the mental health topic. It's no surprise mental health issues among youth have been on the rise since the pandemic, but it's been found this crisis has been on the rise even before the pandemic started. Between 2011 and 2015, emergency room visits related to depression, anxiety, and other conditions rose by 28%. The Sergeant General, Sergeant Murthy, said some of the main causes are screen time usage, which doesn't surprise me with cell phones, adolescent brain chemistry, family and friends, and a fast-paced media culture. After weather, we'll be talking about some ways you can stay mentally and physically healthy over break. We're all going to eat some junk food, uh, and that is totally fine. Eat the extra cookie, just don't eat 12 of them. And if you do eat the extra cookie, do something to balance it out with physical activity. Um, Lights on the Lake usually offers a free walkthrough between 3.30 and 4.30 in the afternoon, and Green Lakes does still have their trails open. Mentally, take breaks, <laughs> all right? We all need a break. Really yes, we need breaks. Um, we need a break from school, like putting in your headphones and zoning out on TikToks. That can look like going in your room for some quiet time. Um, but take breaks and do something calming for yourself. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 50 degrees and a low of 37. Tuesday will have a high of 44 and a low of 33 degrees. It will also be partly cloudy. Wednesday has a 62% chance of rain with a, 40, with a high of 48 degrees and a low of 45. We gotta get back at Central Square. Now, I got four ideas, all right? First, Mr. Avellino in an apple suit. Central Square is going to challenge us to a canned food drive? Do they know who they're messing with? 
We need to get to the core of this problem. And uh, never mind, that wasn't a good one. All right, let's put someone in a can suit and have them run the halls. Enough with the costumes. All right, this is a great idea. Let's do a Rocky video. I feel like that's been done a thousand times before. All right, dad puns anyone? Come on. Ooh, how about uh, get off your can and bring one in? No dad jokes. Why don't we just steal their cans? How about we try a serious approach? This holiday season, we need your help, ESM, bringing as many cans as possible to give back to your community, not competitively. One in every eight people are food insecure. 30% are children under the age of 18. We have to feed those in need, and it doesn't take any muscle. Bring in an extra food can or cash donation, which, which goes even further. Thank you. Ms. Dizro mentioned some great activities like lights on the lake and hiking at Green Lakes. And she also mentioned that it's okay to treat yourself over the holidays, which I think is very important. So we're all going to be eating junk food, so it's okay. Don't beat yourself up over the junk food because it's normal and it's the holidays. And on the mental side of things, it's important to take some time for yourself and give yourself a break from everyday life. Speaking of everyday life, let's see what's happening with sports. Okay, so today in sports we're going to be doing it left-handed. I was recently informed, so... Um, in NFL news, the Los Angeles Rams play the Arizona Cardinals tonight at 8.20. The Syracuse men's basketball team lost to rival Georgetown 79-75 this Saturday. The team was led by Buddy Beheim, who scored 17 points in the loss. In boys track, senior Rocky L broke the school record with a triple jump of 45 feet, 3 and 3 quarter inches on Friday night. Along with that win, Michael Parks won the 55 high hurdles and Kevin Hasty won the weight throw as the Spartan beat 21 other teams to place first and win the Mohawk Valley Relays. The girls track team placed 15th overall. Rachel Ladd finished third overall in the girls mile run. Ariana Brennan got fifth in the 55 hurdles and Kaylee Malou finished seventh. Ariana also got fourth in the girls high jump and Kaylee finished fourth in girls triple jump. On Friday, the girls' basketball team lost to Henniger 55-22. Nia Jones led the team with 10 points, and Angelina Polcaro also had 7 points. On Saturday, the boys' basketball team also lost to FM 77-42. Aiden Betts led the team with 9 points, and Justin Kalkin also contributed 8 points. The wrestling team also lost 1-4 in a tournament at Camden. Wrestlers with win include Ryan Lillo, John Alloy, Max Wunderlich, Ian Schroeder, Peyton Spencer, Carlo Verne and Damian Murray. In upcoming games, the girls and boys bowling teams have a match at Auburn at 3.30. The girls volleyball team plays at home against Central Valley Academy at 6.30, and the wrestling team has a match at West Tennessee at 7. And I'm John, with your sports. Okay, so for some ways to stay mentally and physically healthy, this upcoming Thursday, Yoga Club is holding their first meeting after school in the library. So bring a friend and wear bring a friend and wear comfortable clothing in the library, and that's exciting. And I hope you learn some ways to stay physically and mentally healthy over break. And from me and everyone here at the morning show, have a great day.